Here's something that you don't see every day. In two years ago, I bought these boots. These are motorcycle boots and I bought them for $60. And today in this video, I'm gonna do an update on how these boots have held over these last two years. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure that these things would hold up, but they are pretty darn good. $60 boots, I will be showing you in this video the major downside with these boots and some of the pluses. You know, we can't beat these things for $60. So these are called Power Gear Motorsports. I'll put a link in the description. I'm not getting paid by the manufacturer of these boots, but they should pay me. But here's something that you always see on YouTube. You basically get a lot of guys selling you all sorts of stuff, but you never get an update in real world application. Well, here's the real world application after two years of using these $60 boots. Now, they do make some taller boots and I do recommend those. More protection is better for your feet. But these half boots will provide ankle protection and they do have protection in the, the back. So they are pretty stiff. It's made out of plastic. It's not made out of like really nice leather. And they did come with these sliders. This like this one is actually kind of loose, but it's got a screw you can kind of get in there. So it's got the scuffing of everyday type of riding. One thing I don't like is the Velcro is pretty weak. So it kind of just, as you're riding, if you move your foot just to kind of bend, this will just kind of come out. But the latch system is intact. It has not broken. This slider is loose, but you can just screw that back in there. But the major downside of the boots are this. And both of them have the same amount of wear. You can see in the original video, this is still on there, but this is so smooth now that it's practically useless. I still use these boots and I was thinking about just 3D printing a piece of plastic. That's how cheap I am. And printing a 3D piece of plastic and putting it on here. Even when this boot was new, one of the big issues is that the thread was very thin and you feel the vibrations a lot more from this sort of boot with a stiff sole. So having a little bit more of a cushy rubber makes a better boot for adventure riders, dual sport riders, but this one's pretty darn good. And I toss this into my bag if I'm like going to get a bike or whatever. This is the boot that I'll use, but I do wish that these soles uh, held up a little bit better because it really is the major downside of the $60 boot But having this sort of protection is really good in the back. You have this Plastic thing that you know I, I'm not really sure. It's just more stylish to have it. It gives you a little bit more protection and yeah, like there's really nothing wrong. Like I think for me, in originally, I thought that this plastic, because it looks so cheap, would be the first thing to go. And surprisingly, it's in decent shape. You know, I haven't cleaned these. This is pretty much the way I ride. I don't make a point of polishing my gear. The other boot, same thing. The crazy wear on the heels. This part where you shift, is intact and this part meets the uh, shifter quite a bit so it's uh, incredibly durable because it's plastic and plastic seems to hold up pretty well on this boot yeah i think the big downside is really the sole a lot of vibration comes through because it's so thin they should have used some thicker material well that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm not trying to sell you on these boots but i like the idea of doing follow-ups to the gear that i get Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.